Hi boys and girls and welcome to story time. Today's story is called The Star of the Zoo. It's written by Virginie Zacha and Daniel Howarth. Little star twinkled like a diamond in the clear night sky. Far below her, the zoo was still and quiet. The animals were getting ready for bed. Then suddenly, oh no, little star lost her balance and tumbled out of the sky. Down, down, down she fell like a shooting star. She left a sparkling trail all the way down to the ground. Ouch! She cried as she landed with a bump. All the animals ran to see what happened. Can you see all the animals? What's that? And that. And what's that? And who's up in the tree? And there. Oh no! Are you all right, little star? Ah, Zebra? Can we help you? I need to get back into the sky so I can twinkle like a diamond, little star said sadly. I'll help you, said Lion. Lion. I'm the strongest animal in the zoo. Lion picked up little star and climbed onto a rock and lifted her high into the air. Lion could lift little star easily, but he couldn't quite reach the sky. I can help. Who's saying that? It's, who's that? It's Ant. Ra ha ha, laughed Lion. You're too small. You can't help. Ooh. I'll help you, said Monkey. I'm the best climber in the zoo. Monkey picked up little star and jumped into a tree. He swung through the branches to the very top. Monkey climbed as high as he could, but he couldn't reach the sky. I have a plan. Who said that? It's Ant again. Hoo, 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 laughed Monkey. You're too small. You can't help. I'll help you, said Giraffe. I'm the tallest animal in the zoo. Giraffe picked up Little Star, stood up straight and stretched her neck as far as she could. Can you do that? Giraffe was very tall, but she couldn't reach the sky. I know what to do. It's little ant again. He, 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 laughed Giraffe. You're too small. You can't help. Little star's brightness was fading. I have to be back in the sky before sunrise, she cried. Give me a chance. I can help, called Ant. The animals all just stared at Ant. What can she do? Well, if you think you can do it, you might as well try, said Lion, rolling his eyes. Ant scuffled off. <gasps> can you see? She came back, not with ten, not with a hundred, but with thousands of friends to help. You see them? And picked up little star and climbed onto another ant's back. That ant climbed onto another ant. And that ant climbed onto another. The tower of ants grew and grew higher and higher until they reached the sky. Where's the little star? You did it, shouted Little Star, and all the animals cheered. Anything's possible if you work together, Anne said proudly. And Little Star smiled happy, happy to be home. She twinkled like a diamond all night long. And far below, the animals finally snuggled down and went to sleep. Oh, that was so good to hear. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time.